Well, this is a very, very special beer, as you can imagine. Um, it's, it takes about eight months to brew this beer. It, it starts in Belgium, where they take summer barley and uh, they, they ferment, they malt it and ferment it, uh, and, the, and the primary fermentation, uh, and then they, uh, they do a secondary fermentation process before bottling it to do a, a third fermentation process. It's taken from the bottle. Uh, taking in the bottles to France. So which one is aged. the $43? Uh, the the one that looks like champagne? Exactly. <laughs> That's the day use. Uh-huh. Um, so inevitably <clears throat> the craft beer boom has been around for a couple of years, right? But one of the issues here is that hops are getting very expensive. The U.S. alone actually uses about 50% of all the hops because in part of craft beer. Do we have enough supply here to go around? Well, there's definitely been talk for a number of years of a hop uh, shortage, and there's there's more and more uh, farms that are that are giving acreage over to hops, and there are more and more states that are getting involved in growing hops. But it takes uh, three years from when you plant uh, a hop vine to when you can get a viable hop for uh, harvest. So mm, it, wow, it's a long time. Yeah, so the, you have to get way ahead of it. Um, and yeah, the 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 most pro the most uh, popular and the fastest growing style of beer is uh, the IPA, which uses a lot of hops. So that's leading to a shortage. And the other issue seems to be, because in order to be a craft brewery, you have to be smaller. I mean, you could argue that Boston beer isn't particularly small, but the idea is that you're smaller than, say, a Coors. So the issue then is scalability. If there is this demand, you need this supply, are we going to see consolidation, PE, uh, investments coming in in order to help these guys stay afloat? Well, you've definitely started seeing that. Um, the private equity is, is uh, very much interested in the uh, craft beer world, and there's been a lot of consolidation in the last year. Um, everybody from Anheuser Busch buying uh, 10 barrels and Elysian and Blue Point right here in Long Island, uh, and as well as uh, Green Flash, a small, uh, a small microbrewery in California, buying Alpine, another California brewery. Uh, then you've got the Belgians, not just InBev, but the Morcott mm -hmm. Group, which bought Boulevard uh, out of Kansas last year. And, um, and also bought Oma Gang a number of years ago. Most important question I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite beer? Uh, my favorite beer this week. Uh, you're at home, you're watching some TV, you crab open a brewski, what is it? Um, well, actually, my favorite beer right now is Money.